and then I will um, set an alarm for five. I've got to get up at five because I'm waking up at five in case I didn't mention it. It's definitely not 5am, it's definitely 10am. <laughs> My alarm went off and I wanted to sleep and then I woke up at 8 and then I was not slappy. Then I took ages to eat my breakfast again and ages to get ready. So now it's 10 and I'm going to melt. But it's okay. I looked at, to be fair, I looked at my maps and there's probably like a couple of hours worth of things I want to do this morning. And I can go back before when it gets really hot this afternoon and then go out again. Maybe five today and check out some other bits. Check out um, another mosque and stuff. So it's okay. It's all good. Um, yeah, I just have to let myself sleep sometimes because like sometimes I get such little sleep and this morning I have to well tomorrow morning I have to wake up at 3 a.m. so yeah it's all good I'm not giving myself too much of a hard time so I've reached the old trading domes of the city they aren't um they used to house the bazaar at Bukhara but they don't anymore they're just kind of souvenir shops it's a bit touristy to be honest but the architecture is really pretty incredible so I'm gonna just go and have a proper look now I had I walked past them yesterday but I didn't actually really think about what they were so I'm gonna have a proper look at them now I'll show you what they are Where I explained about madrasas in now. <laughs> this madrasa was built in the 16th century. I'm not sure if there was a madrasa on site before. I'll double check that. Um, and yeah, a madrasa is basically a learning centre for. Um, well, it was in the, in the Muslim Muslim in Uzbekistan. It was a learning centre. Um, the people who came here were obviously all Muslim, but they didn't just learn about religion. They learned about all sorts of things. So, but they're just so ornate. Um, yeah, they're just so grand and yeah, this is basically like an education centre, like it was like a school or a university. And we'll go and look at the mosque on the outside. So both the madrasa and the mosque were built in the 16th century. During the Soviet times, they, some were, re it was refurbished a bit, but also stopped becoming a working madrasa. But now it once again operates as a working madrasa. <laughs> as well someone actually fell from the top of the minaret and died uh, I don't know how long ago but that's why there's no climbing to the top of the minaret nowadays you know the minaret I went up um, it was all caged in so there was no way anyone could get out but so I'm now at Bukhara's fortress this was a working fortress up until the 20th century, so really recent, and it just protected the old city of Bukhara from invaders. 
we all know what Fortress does. Um, apparently there's a great view and a small museum to check out, so I'm going to go in there now. thousand some which is a bit pricey I thought considering that like it's not that high so I decided not to instead I will go into this mosque here so this is the Bolo Hawes mosque and yeah it's located just literally just across the road from the Ark uh, so yeah close to all of the attractions and it's a really nice exterior I'm really liking it uh, a bit of different a few different colors and stuff as well to uh, the standard madrasa style here Let's go check it out. pictures inside so there's a sign saying no smartphones um, but I presume it means because of no cameras I'm not too sure but I will have a little look around inside and then I will come back outside <laughs> Okay, so I went in and we are allowed in definitely because there were signs saying take your shoes off and then the sign saying no camera but it was like, it felt a bit kind of like a working um, mosque. I'm guessing that people aren't allowed in during prayer times. I felt like a bit of a working mosque, it is a working mosque. Um, which was cool to check out but also I felt a little bit awkward because like people were in there and it was all men in there as well and quite often they have separate places for men and women but I went in and everyone looked at me when I went in but no one told me to leave. and. Like there are other tourists going in so you can go in but that's a little bit strange but I'm glad I didn't like try and take any photos or video because that would not be appropriate. So I'm going to walk back now. Um, I might find somewhere where I can just get like a, I want a small lunch because I want to eat dinner at like a sensible time. Yesterday I didn't eat dinner at nine but I kind of want to be in bed by nine as I have to get up at three. So I'm going to walk back and find somewhere I can have something to eat. Um, probably just be some chips or something or some steak or some veg and then I will go back to the hotel and sit in the AC for a few hours to get out of this intense. So I'm at the synagogue of Bukhara. I think I can go in. There's a tourist sign pointing to it so I guess so. So Bukhara does have a small Jewish population. I think it's the city with the largest Jewish population in Uzbekistan. Um, my guide in Samarkand told me that there are only seven Jews in Samarkand. But here there are some more. 
who have come from um, Israel and just settled here I guess because you know the biggest community is here so more and more have settled here but there's only one synagogue which is that one there so now I'm walking to the Chor Minor Mosque and I'm gonna attend this Italian restaurant again for dinner also this looks fun it's not open at the moment but it's a uh, actually it is open at the moment huh it's a puppets workshop I'm I'm quite keen to get to this mosque before it closes though so I'm not going to go into the puppets workshop but if you're interested in puppets it might be worth checking out if you can. So I'm at Chor Minor now. Uh, this is one of the newer mosques in the city. It was only completed in the 19th century, early 19th century. So um, yeah, <laughs> makes it pretty new compared to a lot of the architecture but it's really really beautiful. Um, it's quite a unique style, it's small um, but has some really nice little minarets and stuff. I like it a lot. right now if not I'm gonna go back to the restaurant I went to last night and have a super game because that was really good okay there's people sitting outside I think that means it's open yes enjoyed these two videos of my time in Bukhara. It probably was my favourite city in Uzbekistan even though it was so hot. Um, if you visited in spring or autumn it would probably be perfect weather. Please give it a like if you've enjoyed it and please subscribe for more videos of my journey from Bali to London with no flights. Next up is my vlog from my time in Kiva and my video of my train from Uzbekistan to Western Kazakhstan. Thanks, bye!